welcome back my peeps happy happy <laughs> starting off on the right foot happy national s'mores day so i'm just gonna come on here real quick because i'm i'm gonna make a s'more skillet um mostly using molds and stuff um but you don't need to make you don't need to have a mold you could kind of do this um by hand i'm not really going to show you that part but i could explain it to you because i'm just gonna you know i just wanted to make something for national s'mores day and share with you guys so you're gonna need this cute little skillet right and you're gonna need some clay i'm gonna i'm gonna use model light um this time only because i have a little bit left and I kind of want to use it up because I got this some other clay that I want to be I'm going to be using so I wanted to just use this up so you're going to take your model light and you're going to roll it into marshmallows I already shared with you guys how to roll marshmallows I have a whole tutorial on how to roll marshmallows but I'll do it real quick I'm going to put this over here I'll do it real quick so you guys can see how you roll a marshmallow. Just get a little bowl. I, this is how I roll my marshmallow. I know other people have their own versions of, and I roll it like I'm gonna run it into a log, but I don't roll it into a log. Then I take it and I smash it. And look, you have your marshmallow, okay? Simple, easy. If you wanna watch this again, I have a whole tutorial showing you how to roll uh, marshmallows but I already pre-rolled some and I have them right here oh I took out the wrong container oh wait I need to put this back into this so I'm gonna try to use this up so I kind of already rolled some marshmallows you see this is I'm working on something else with that one so I'm just gonna take these and place them now you want to put the marshmallows in your little um, skillet and we're going to leave this with no marshmallows because we're going to make fake chocolate and melted marshmallows and all that good stuff. So basically you're just going to just put some marshmallows going around like that. Okay. Oops. And you're just gonna like basically try to fill it up but you're gonna leave some little bit of space probably could have moved that one over a little bit huh it's too late now right and then i got two more i really should have moved this to the side so i could fit one marshmallow in there but one thing about this clay is once you stick it, wonder if I could fit. Uh, no, I need to um try to make it fit in there. All right, there you go. Good thing is good thing is clay, right? And then I got one more. I'm gonna have. I'm gonna put right here. Okay, so you kind of want to leave this. A little open so and then you could um push your clays down and all that good stuff i have one here that kind of started yesterday i'm gonna just make this one finish that one up later so i'm gonna just push it to the side so i got uh and i'll leave links to all of these i do not have a coupon code for these molds but if I ever get one, I will share that with you. But this is um, uh, <laughs> uh, what the heck? I can't even think. Anyway, this is the chocolate, ch uh, chocolate um, Hershey mold, and this is what it looks like once you make the mold. This is just I used um, actually I used Model Magic Brown. But you can use any brown clay that you have for that. And then this is the graham cracker. And that's what it looks like. 
I didn't paint it or anything yet, but this one is painted. You see, like the difference in the color. So what I used, all I did was I dry brush this. So what I, how I got this color was I took regular white clay, right? Any any white clay you have, Model Magic, Foam Clay, whatever you have. And I added some classic caramel and I got this color. Okay, I got this color. That's this color right here. And then I dry brushed it with some classic caramel on top just so it can look a little bit more real. I didn't put anything on the back, but you can. Okay. And you guys see me dry brush plenty of time. So, like I said, I will leave the link to these molds if you are interested in the comments below. And um, you could get you one, okay? But if you don't have a mold, all you got to do is get you a square cutter or a rectangular color, color, cutter. And you can just use the rectangle for your um for your candy bar. And you're just gonna take a uh you can use a toothpick or whatever and make the lines for the candy bars. Of course, yours wouldn't say Hershey's because you know you will need a mold for that. And then for the graham cracker, you just make a square one. Um, you know, put some um you can use a roll up, rolled up piece of aluminum foil and so you could uh, rub it on there and you can make it look like a real graham cracker. And then you just take a dotting tool and you make these dots down the middle and on the sides and then you have a graham cracker. Okay. So you don't need a mold necessarily, but since I had it and I was already starting to make it, I figured I would share with you guys. So that's what I'm doing. Okay. So, I have some graham crackers that I cut into. Like, I just took the graham cracker and I just broke it in half like that. If you have this mold, you don't have to cut it with a, with a scissor. All you got to do is just look. It cra it cracks. It cracks, and then you just paint this part. Dry brush. Make sure you dry brush that part. And you will have little pieces of cracker. Because we're going to make this look like a dip. You know, I'm going to put a piece of... um graham cracker and a piece of like the chocolate to look like that okay so but first before I do all of that I need to put my chocolate in here so to do that I'm just gonna I'm gonna take the easy way out and I'm gonna use slick paint but brown slick paint but you could also, if you don't want to buy slick paint or if you don't have slick paint, you and you you could use um uh um cork, mod podge, and brown paint, and you'll get the same kind of consistency. You want it to be runny like melted chocolate. So all I'm gonna do is just take this and I'm gonna squeeze some into the into the um skillet. And then I'm going to just spread it around. I don't really want to use too much of it. Even though I don't really have that much in this one, as you can tell. But then you just want to spread it around. Okay. I'm just going to use whatever I have left in here. Then I'm going to get me a... Um, sorry, guys. I'm going to get me a... Let me leave this because I might need like a little drop of it. Then I'm just going to take this and kind of just spread it around into the areas. So you get your melted chocolate, which it should look like, you know, your chocolate should be underneath. It's basically, that's what it's to look like you have your chocolate under there and the marshmallows on top so make sure you get it but then I'm gonna add some white at the edge to look like melted chocolate Hold on, let me get a, a white, white, real quick. 
so I can wipe this down. Right? So then you're going to get you a... Uh, I'm going to use slick paint again. But I'm just going to put it around the edge to make it look like... Hold on, let me squeeze some out first because this stuff be acting funny sometimes. So I'm just going to go around the edge just to make it look like melted marshmallows, right? And then I'm going to get my stick again and kind of just like blend it in to make it look like melted marshmallows and melted chocolate. Not too much, just where the edges. I don't want to blend it too much. Okay. See how that look like melted? Okay. And I kind of want to get it in there a little bit, like make it connect so it looks more real. Okay, so then that's that. I save my stick in case I need it again. Put it over there to the side. So then I'm gonna take my um, <clears throat> I'm gonna take this brown paint because there's a couple of areas that's exposed, like there, you know. And I'm gonna put a little bit of this in there because I want it to look like there's melted chocolate underneath. Okay, so I'm just going to put some in the little corners like that. Then I'm going there with a toothpick and uh, fix it up. Okay, oh, I missed a corner over here. Wait, I got to wipe this off. Alright, so now I'm going there with a toothpick and I'm going to... um. I'm going to spread it around so it looks real. All right, let me go in here, just spread it around. Go over here. And then we should be ready to go to the next step, okay? Alright, so there you go. You got your melted chocolate and your melted marshmallows. Now, we want to make these marshmallows look like they were actually uh, melted, you know, put under the broiler, the heat, whatever. Wait, I got my air on, so it's probably just not trying to cooperate but if you take this now you don't need to do this you could use um dry you could dry brush it of course it's not acting up because my air is on let me turn it down oh lord now that's a torch right there all right so basically you're just gonna take it now don't melt the plastic skillet okay because this this right here It's kind of hot. Let me turn it down a little bit because I don't want to burn my skillet. You know what I mean? I just want to put some brown spots on the marshmallow to make it look like, you know, it was melted. I ain't even trying to get crazy. As long as some of it get a little brown, I'm good. See how that look like a real marshmallow now? All right, I'm gonna leave that alone. And if you want to, you can smash them down a little bit while they, s I mean, they're not really that soft because I made this yesterday, but 
and look you have your marshmallows and your melted chocolate and all that good stuff so now I'm gonna put my uh my graham cracker but I want my graham cracker to have a little bit of dip on it before I stick it in there see if I could get some of this on there just because once this dry this is gonna be like the glue right and then we're gonna use a piece of this Hershey bar that I made now make sure you put it in there with the, <laughs> don't be like me with the words going the wrong way All right Like I said, this is going to act like the glue. So make sure you put some on there. And then I'm just going to stick this in just like, just like that. Should I stick another piece of graham cracker in there? Just to make it look a little bit more full. Hold on. I'm going to stick this one in there, but behind that one. This is done. I'm gonna just stick it behind like that. Make it two little pieces of graham cracker and so guys this is what it looks like. You got your two graham crackers and your little piece of ice ice cream <laughs> chocolate. I know the lighting is bad, but I'm going to come back over here so you guys can see it. You see that? You got your little chocolate in the crevices, and I hope you guys make one and, you know, tag me on social media and let me see your project. I really like the way this looks. This looks real. So, guys. I hope you like this project and I hope you make one for yourself. Tag me if you do. I would really appreciate it. And I'm not, in this video, I am not announcing the winner of the 10K Unicorn giveaway because this was just an extra video that I just decided to make right now. So you will get that. The winner will be in the next video, which is going to be next Monday. That's when the winner will be revealed. So I hope you guys enjoy this. I hope you guys go out and get you some s'mores today. Have a s'more. And if you never had a s'more, you need to go have you one because they're really good. So until the next time, stay safe, stay healthy, keep crafting. God bless you guys. Bye.